Hi there, Dustin from Roland Canada here with Long and McQuaid, and today I want to show you the brand new Bluetooth MIDI system from Roland, and that is the WM1 and the WM1D. Now I've got the WM1 with me right here, and as you can see, it's essentially looking like a very short MIDI cable, but it's way more than that. It's an adapter that allows you to communicate between your MIDI hardware and your computer or your iPhone or your iPad or other devices that have a WM1 plugged into them. So you can have multiple devices working within this ecosystem without even the need for a computer and it's all wireless with no need for a traditional MIDI cable. It's important to note that Mac and iOS devices have Bluetooth MIDI built into them natively. So that's why you only need a single WM1 to start working with, say, your MacBook and your pieces of hardware. However, some computers, like some PCs, don't have this built in natively. So that's why we have the WM1D. And that is a solution for anyone with a PC that wants to add Bluetooth MIDI and get into the WM ecosystem, no problem. Also, since the native Bluetooth MIDI in iOS and Mac doesn't support our fast mode, which is our proprietary way to get the latency down to three milliseconds, if you want to add a WM1D to your Apple product to get that fast mode connection between two WM devices, you can do that with the WM1D. Connecting the WM1 to your hardware is extremely simple. The only thing you need to do to get going is connect the MIDI out to the MIDI out. Now, of course, a lot of setups are going to want to use the MIDI in as well. So let's go ahead and hook that up. And what you'll see is that as soon as I plugged it in, it was powered on. So there is no power button on the WM1. It's going to sense that the device is turned on, and that also means that when you turn the device off, the power turns off on the WM1. And you turn it back on, and it's going to turn itself back on, right? So very simple. There's no need for an extra power button. When you go power on your studio or your setup, it will turn on automatically. So if we take a look, you can see that there's a really simple interface, and all that interface is is a single button. And that button flashes a different color depending on which mode it's in. And we'll take a look at those different modes. So it's flashing green right now. That means it's in standard mode and it's waiting to be controlled by an external device and get MIDI clock. So in standard mode, you can have up to four devices hooked up, as we know, and one of them will be the host and the rest are going to be in the green mode. If I wanted to make this one the host, I simply press the button twice and it's blinking red. And then there's also fast mode. And that's, of course, between just two WM products. And the way we put that on is we press and we hold. And there we are. And it's orange. Now we're in fast mode. That's it. It's as simple as that. So now let's take a look at some different examples of how you can use the WM1 in your studio or your live setup, both with computers or just with hardware. So the first example I'd like to show you is connecting a MIDI controller wirelessly to your computer. In this case, we're going to be doing it with a MacBook. And as mentioned earlier, Macs and iOS devices like iPads and iPhones have Bluetooth MIDI built in already. So that means you only need a single WM1 to get started. So if we take a look at the computer, we've already got the WM1 set up here, connected under our audio, MIDI, and Bluetooth configuration, and that is in your Mac under Utilities. If we pop back over to Ableton, I've got an instance of Xenology Pro open here, and it's on MIDI channel 1. Now my MIDI controller is also on channel 1, and as you can see, with no wires, I'm already connected and ready to play. And not only MIDI notes, of course, because we know that the WM1 will pass all the data that a standard MIDI cable does, we can also send CC. So now I'd like to show you how to control external hardware from your computer using just a single WM1. So right now, if we take a look, the same Ableton project, I have four MIDI channels set up. And you can see that they're named MC101, channel 
one, two, three, and four. And I've got the WM1 plugged into my MC101 here. So essentially, I'm using the MC101 just as a sound module. So we've got a couple different sounds on here right now. Let's go through those really quick first. I've got one track that's just drums. Let's take a listen. I've got a second track, which is a bass. Track three is a pad. And track four is like a vocal synth. Right? So those are all set up, ready to go on MIDI channels one, two, three, and four. So as you can see, we'll be able to control multiple MIDI channels from Ableton with just a single WM1 going to our hardware. So let's take a look. Let's start with the drums. Adding in channel two. Channel three, there we go. Channel four. So, all the MIDI information is coming from Ableton over Bluetooth MIDI, being sent to the WM1 and controlling all four tracks separately. So as you can see, all the sounds coming directly from here, but all the sequences are coming from Ableton. So the third example is going to be connecting two pieces of hardware using two WM1s with no need for a computer whatsoever. So the computer is not in play at the moment. So I've got a WM1 connected to my A300 Pro MIDI controller, and I've got a WM1 connected to the MC101. Now these, because there's two WM products in play, two with a handshake, we can use fast mode. So I've got these both set to fast mode. And very simply, I'd just like to show you that I'm sending two different MIDI channels from the keyboard. So I've got my bass sound on the left part, and on the top part of the keyboard, I've got more of a polysynth. Right, so this is again controlling the MC-101 internally. So this could be a big part of my actual workflow too, you know, not just playing live, but sequencing. You can connect this to your computer or your hardware to record your sequences and bang out different types of ideas. Let's just record something really quick wirelessly from the A300 to the MC-101. So let's go to our polysynth track. We'll arm to record and let's go. There you go. Let's just very quickly go over to our bass part and we'll add a part in here. There you have it. So very, very easy to connect two pieces of hardware, and of course this works bi-directionally as well. So you can have multiple MIDI signals going in both directions if that works for part of your setup. So in addition to MIDI notes and CC messages, the WM products can also send and receive start-stop over MIDI and MIDI clock. So that means that we can sync up multiple machines with no need for a computer or MIDI cables. So right now, I've got a TR6S and an MC101, each with their own WM1 connected. And of course, because there's only two pieces in play and they're both WM products, we have them set up in fast mode. So as soon as I press play on the TR6S, you're gonna see that the clock on the MC101 is gonna start immediately. So all of the sounds from the MC-101 are being sequenced from the 101, but the MIDI clock is coming from the TR-6S. And I've even got some drums I could add in there. It's as simple as that, to get everything synced up with no need for any MIDI cables.
So remember that you can connect up to four devices together in standard mode and two devices when using fast mode. And those can be a combination of hardware and you can have your computer in play, you can have your iPhone or your iPad in play. Now, if you have a PC that doesn't support Bluetooth MIDI natively, we have the WM1D as an optional USB dongle. Now, what this does is equip a PC or a MacBook with Bluetooth MIDI so it can be used with the WM products. Also, natively, the Bluetooth MIDI built into iOS and Mac does not support the fast mode. So if you have a Mac or an Apple product that you want to use fast mode with, you can add the WM1D to ensure you're getting that three milliseconds latency. So there you have it, the WM1 and the WM1D, the new Bluetooth wireless MIDI system from Roland. Thanks for checking this out with us today. Check it out at longandmcquade.com.